Hi everyone, this is Crafty Decoria. I hope you're all doing great. So I decided to get out on the weekend. I had not been to the Dollar Tree in about a month and a half. So I wanted to get out and get some fresh air. The town that I had gone to only had one Dollar Tree and that was fine because I just really haven't been in the mood to shop all that much. But I did want to go in and see if there were any new finds and there were a couple new things that I hadn't seen before. I also was on the lookout for the lemon dinnerware and unfortunately I haven't been able to find it myself or I, I haven't heard of anyone in Canada finding them at their Dollar Tree. I am fortunate that if I do want to get them I have family in the US that will purchase them and then send them to me. I just really wish that they would arrive here because then I could just purchase as many as I would like unless of course they sell out which I know they are a very popular item um, because they are so so beautiful but I did end up picking up a few things so this haul is not very big but I thought I'd share it just the same and I also did take some pictures of things that I had seen in the store that I didn't bring home with me but I will include those at the end of this small haul So to start the haul, I picked up these Main Street Wall Creation Jumbo stickers and it was the only lemon thing that I could find. So I do love these. I have purchased them in the past. I think they're beautiful for decorating. And so I picked up about six of them. That was all they had, so I just grabbed them all. And these ones here, they are double-sided, so they have stickers on the front as well as stickers on the back. I ended up finding some more of these decor pieces and in my last DIY I did use these to make a centerpiece so if you want to check that out if you haven't seen that video I will post the link in the description box below but I do like to pick these up when I see them because they are a nice solid piece and they make great um, for using in DIYs so the three that I picked up well I actually picked up seven but some of them are repeat so the first is your attitude determines your direction the second home is where the family gathers and the third make your dreams happen these are a repurchase i have purchased a few of these before they are so beautiful whether you're just giving them as a gift as it is or using them in a diy i think they are just beautiful and i love the glossy finish that they have so these are the box decor pieces they are made of like a press board and the two that i picked up well i did grab the last six so i think four were of this one here that says welcome home and it's a wreath of succulents with these with this burlap bow and then the second one are these succulents inside of this little mini hanging terrarium if that's what it's called I can't remember <laughs> but really really pretty again another repurchase these are smaller decor pieces and I'm not sure if these are actual wood the back looks like that press board so I don't know if the whole um, thing is made out of that press board and just painted but I think these are really super cute this one is gray on the outside and then it has that Tiffany blue on the inside and then that middle wooden piece is um, sticking up and it says always stay humble and kind and then the second one that I got is in pink and it says shine bright Another item I've been looking for is the Mod Podge. At times I find so much of it and then other times I can't find it for weeks. Another item that is that way is the chalkboard paint. Right now I can find it in every color under the sun except for black. So hopefully they get that in as well. But I picked up four of the Mod Podge and I did get it in the matte finish. And then I picked up two of these planters. These were a new find for me. I haven't seen these before, but these are little buckets. And I think they're adorable. They are plastic. 
but I saw them in gray, blue, and yellow. I can't remember the third color I saw them in, but I ended up picking up the, um, the gray, which I absolutely love. And you do get two for $1.25 here in Canada. I love the eye candy products at the Dollar Tree and I especially love when they come out with the headbands for the babies. I am learning to reborn dolls so this is a great accessory to purchase for $1.25 each and I don't normally find them um, either they sell out quickly um, or the other Dollar Trees that I go to don't carry them as much but at this Dollar Tree they had a nice variety. So I did pick up two of these and they are like a jean materials, material so there's a lighter color and then the darker jean which I really am happy about. I picked up these two that have bows on them so it's just the headband and then they have the bow attached to the front and this one is pink and blue. This one I thought was really pretty in purple and this is more of a ribbon that goes around the head and then the other two that I picked up you get two in this package and they are purple really pretty as well smaller bows on the headband so I was really happy to come across these headbands and the last item that I have to share with you was probably my favorite find of the day are these four by six photo frames and it has the clip where you can clip the picture to the frame but I just love the look of the frame. I picked two up in gray and two in brown. These were the last four. And they, you could tell that it looks like, um, almost like shiplap, uh, the wood. And it actually indents where the spaces are between the wood. And then in the corners, it looks like um, screws. So I thought they were really, really nice looking. And then at the bottom, in this um, burlap it has faith family and friends written on this one and then on this one it says family is everything so this was definitely a wonderful find well that'll do it for this dollar tree haul it wasn't a very big one but i wanted to share just the same i hope you're all doing great and i hope you're having a wonderful week so if you enjoyed this haul, and I hope you did, please give it a thumbs up, share the video if you can, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. As always, guys, you take care of yourselves, and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.